Thank you both for coming in today. Why don't we start by telling me a little bit about why you're here? Well, if I'm being totally honest, uh, things haven't been quite the same between us lately. My relationship with Star Wars is in a rut. So what do you think changed? Well, um, I started to notice a difference about 15 years ago. Um, you know, and at the time I said it was good, but in hindsight I realized I was just making excuses for him. Yeah, I remember that. It was pretty bad. So we took a break. Then about three or four years ago, uh, we ran into each other again, and he totally blew me away, you know? But then he started slipping back into his old ways. I'm sorry, I can't just keep sitting here. Can I say something? Please, yes. I feel like all I try to do is make her happy. If I try new stuff, it's bad. If I rehash the old stuff, it's also bad. I can't win. It's not about winning. Did she tell you she hasn't seen Solo yet? Do you have any idea how that makes me feel? I didn't ask for a Solo movie. I don't need a Solo movie. And you want to know what else? You know, I'm going to put it all out there. I don't want a Boba Fett movie either. Oh. Yeah, I said it, OK? He's a random character. Wow. He says two lines. He's not that cool. OK. I'll cares about is making money. How can you say that? Uh, how can I say that? I'll tell you how. Poor. This is unbelievable. I'm putting in the work. Every six months, I'm trying to make new for her. I never asked for that. You don't listen to me. I don't listen? You said you liked Luke Skywalker, so I brought back Luke Skywalker. And you made him milk an alien. I was being funny. Look, if you're so unhappy, why don't you just go watch a Marvel movie? Maybe I will. Okay, hey, hey, I'm going to interrupt here because Things are getting a little heated and very stupid. I think what you need to ask yourself is, do you still love Star Wars? Or is it the nostalgia of Star Wars that you cling on to? No, Klingons are Star Trek. Oh, yes, no, I, I was saying, like, clinging on. Yeah, she's right, Klingons are Star Trek. You know what, forget it. I'd like to tell you both a story, if I may. I was actually in a very similar relationship. His name was Lord of the Rings. In the beginning, it was everything you wanted a franchise to be. And then, the Hobbit came. Just three little turds, each smellier than the last. It ruined the relationship. I was very angry for a long time, but then I realized it's just a movie. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. The expectations that I put on him were crazy. If a movie can ruin your childhood, then maybe you don't have enough going on in your life. You're right. I'm sorry, Star Wars. I was putting way too much pressure on you. No, I'm sorry. In the beginning, I was innovative and groundbreaking, but then my budget got huge, people stopped telling me no, and uh, everything just got out of hand. And now, I'm so fucking full of myself. I, I guess, at the end of the day, I really just am a vehicle to sell toys. Hey, don't say that about yourself. I love you. I know. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, okay. This is lovely. Hey, let's let's calm it down just a little bit. Your car's right out there. Very nice to see that you've rekindled this flame, though. We've really made some progress today. <laughs> hey, thanks, Doc. Thank you so much. Same time next week? Yes. Okay. Good afternoon, Doc. Oh, okay. Uh, Bridget, could you cancel all my appointments, please? Uh, this is going to be a long one. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is abusive, right? Hi, it's Mike Trapp from College Humor. Click here to subscribe, click here for more fun things, and send help to keep me from sinking. Please, please help. Please help. <laughs>